welcome all friends of the Dharma. For this session, we will learn how to do meditation on the novel. Normally, you put concentration over the object, and then you lost, lost with the object, with attachment. So the Buddha just tell you to come back to clear knowing, knowing the object, but clear knowing things as they are and letting go. So I just use two words, knowing clearly. You knowing clearly the breathing in, the breathing out. And this is we call knowing clearly. But you need to come back to clear knowing in your mind. Clear knowing in your mind is emptiness. Okay? If you knowing here, you will have a lot of thought. Not emptiness. Okay? So mind is empty. Okay? So we can say in other words, Empty because it's got very clear knowing. Knowing clearly the sitting posture and clearly knowing on your mind the knowing. Then you can free your mind from attachment. So how to bring your mind back to clearly knowing or clear knowing. Knowing clearly, you always uh, knowing clearly in your life, but you lose clear knowing in your mind, what happened in your mind. But if you can balance knowing clearly together with clear knowing together, then you not cause suffering, okay? Uh, but if you just have wrong concentration to know things in the world, things around you, you will enjoy a lot with the worldly life, okay? And you lost, okay? But if you know things around you, but you just know with wisdom, at clear knowing you got wisdom. So today, uh, I just give you technique to chanting Namo, 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 meaning uh, bow down to the Buddha with humble in your heart, in your mind, okay? Okay? Namo, Namo, we bow, we bow down three times, Namo, Tassa, three times, okay? But this, uh, when you chanting Namo, Namo, who know, who know Namo? When you know Namo, but the one who know Namo may be lost in thought. Even you chanting Namo Tassa Bhagavato, but the one who know Namo not there, is going out. Okay? Uh, most most practitioner chanting, but not with the, the, the chanting, but lost in thought. They just chanting by, by habit, okay? Every day chanting, chanting until by habit, and they lost consciousness. So now, na mo, na mo, na. When you start na, everybody try. Na, you stop thinking or not? Nah, you come back or not? Okay? More, you wake up. Nah, nah is very short pronunciation, nah. When you pronounce nah, you stop, okay? When you stop, then more, nah, more. More, you wake up, okay? That is nah, you got mindfulness with you. More, you become awareness, okay? Only one word, Namo. 
can you realize you got mindfulness and awareness uh, when you chant na mo okay so now the whole chanting na mo tasa can you know na mo what happened you know na mo the knower wake up and the knower washing what you are chanting you are chanting tasa the knower can wash can wash you are chanting tasa pakawato arahato sama samputasa only chanting one chanting not long only uh, half minute okay or 15 seconds you come back with mindfulness and awareness so try everybody I want you to find the knower the knower where the knower so the knower will come up when you got thing to know when the mind got thing to know so now you pay attention to me look at me I'm your object okay but I'm among no problem if I'm somebody else uh, uh, that you don't like you look then you will be angry okay but I'm the mom, you're not angry. So that means always you lost. Lost with the object. Object making you uh, happy, you lost. Object making you unhappy, you lost. <laughs> okay? And how often you lost in a day? Very often. Then you become disturbed in your mind. So just know actually all object you just know it and you come back to stay knowing at the knowing not stay at the know at the object if you stay at the object that means you uh, already uh, overcome by desire okay so now not more I'll open your eye because if you close your eye, you cannot find the novel. Why? Be because I want you to look at me, but can you know in your mind? Know whatever you're doing. Know whatever you're looking at me. And know whatever you're doing, chanting together. Because when you know at the novel, you can know things around okay you can know things around now not more can you know not more and you know what you are doing you can know you are sitting also that is great when you come back with not more you will know you are sitting normally you sit you are sitting you never know you are sitting you are walking on earth you always just don't know you are walking on earth but when you just bring mindfulness back near to your mind with chanting na mo what I'm doing now I'm sitting I'm walking you can know clearly okay and you can know not only you are sitting you can know even how your mind your heart uh, how is your mind how is your heart? You can know how your mind is, how your heart is. Uh, you have any uh, desire? You know. When you know sitting, you know you got desire more or less. When you got knowing, uh, desire become less and disappear. Because you don't know you got desire, desire overcome your mind, become attachment. So how to know your desire? Just know your mind first. Know at your mind. This is your home. Your mind is your home. Na. Now I come back already. Na. And I can see more. Na. More. Na. More. Na. More. Also, in the forest tradition, they use wood, door. Wood, 
ดโดบุตโดบุตสตอปโดเวกอัพบุตอินยูไม้นอตไบนอตไบเมาส์ปรอบยูไม้รีไลซ์คันยูรีไลซ์บุตโดอินยูไม้ยูแคนซีแดดเดอาร์ทูติงวันอีสเดอะอ็อบเจกต์ออฟโนอิงวันอีสเดอะโนเวอร์แอนด์เดอะโนเวอร์นาวไอเลตยูทูวอชเดอะอ็อบเจกต์ The object is Buddha. Can you watch Buddha? Can you watch Buddha? If you can watch Buddha, now very clear mindfulness, very sharp mindfulness. Okay. So now uh, come back. What you practice samatha? You practice samatha with any object of knowing, the breathing, the rising, falling. Normally you have. The wrong view. You must put your concentration to the object only. But today, I just tell you in your daily life, when you put concentration to anything, or let's say you look at thing, look at thing, there is something wake up, but you don't know. Okay? When you look at me, okay? Something wake up, you don't know. But today you will know. If you just uh, your eye with me and you move your finger, your eye look very far, look at me, and move your finger like this. What happened? Can you watch your finger movement? Not by eye. Your eye look at me, but your mind can watch the finger movement. I want you to be able to separate the mind from the eye, the mind from the brain. Your eye look at me, but who was the moment? You're you knower, the mind the knower. So now, because you not look at your eye, because I tell you put your finger moment under your chin, your eye cannot look. When your eye, when whenever your eye cannot cannot look, your mind wake wake up, okay? Wake up and watching, seeing, watching how fast, how fast try, try again, try, try, try. How fast? And what happened when you move fast or slowly? You got the different result in your mind. If you move fast, no mindfulness in your mind. If you move slowly, you got more mindfulness in your mind. And when you move and you nearly touch two finger, nearly touch, you got stillness of mind. And when touching, your mind stop. You can realize the mind become one pointedness. So I would like you to realize movement and stop. What difference between movement and stop? Moment you got mindfulness and awareness. When you realize moment you got wake up with mindfulness and awareness. But when you realize stop, you got stillness. Okay, one pointedness of mind. For example, your hand moment. <coughs> Not look by your eye. Your eye go the other way. Uh, and move and watch. Can you watch? When you watch the hand movement, now you watch the movement. What happened when you watch the movement? Just see by your wisdom, you feel more relaxed in your mind when you got movement. Okay, when the 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 mind know the movement, every moment, every moment, the mind become mindful, become mindful. And what happened when you know the stop? The mind stop. You try. Movement, you know. Stop, you know. Movement, you know. Stop, you know. What different you can find in your your mind? What you got in your mind when you know movement? Your mind become more awareness. Wake up. When you know stop, you stop thinking completely. Okay. 
when you know moment, you got mindfulness, and you can see a bit dot inside. But when you know the stop, you got meditation. When you know the stop, you got one poisonous of mind. Okay, here in your mind. Now moment you know, stop you know. So now you develop three things together. Moment you got mindfulness and awareness. Stop you got stillness. Okay. Moment you got wake up. Okay. Stop you got one pointedness of mind. So now you are breathing in. You got stop or not? Yeah, you. Got stop in between in and out. Breathing in. When you know breathing in, you feel more mindfulness and awareness. When you feel the stop, you feel one pointedness of mind. And then at the stop is your home. I would like to point you to your home at the stop. Again, breathing in. Can you know breathing in to stop? When you know the stop, where your mind? At home, inside, no thought. At home, no thought. If not at home, a lot of thought. Okay. When you are at home, no thought, then you can know clearly. Breathing out and now you know clearly the breathing out, and you also got clear knowing on your mind itself. Now you can both side knowing. When you know at the stop, you will know both the object and the mind itself. Both the breathing in and the mind, the knower. Okay? You know at the stop. Can you bring your mind back at the stop? Only one breathing. Just breathing in slowly, softly. Stop. You might stop. Stay there. That is the knower, okay? And stay there. Watch the breathing out, okay? Breathing out. Don't worry. Don't try to stop because you need oxygen. If you try to stop, you feel disturbed. So just rely the breathing in to the stop and stay there. And there you watch from the knower. Watch the breathing out, and now you watch the breathing out, and the breathing out automatically. You need oxygen. Is breathing in, but breathing in before breathing out is stop one or two second. This is the nature of your breathing. Okay, so that when you stop at the breathing in, then the oxygen can spread throughout the whole body. Okay. And that doesn't matter about the oxygen. I want you to stop, <laughs> stop, stop. You know, the breathing in. Stop. You know, then you know the knower become one pointedness. Okay, and breathing out. You know, the stop there and the stop there become wake up. Okay, breathing out movement and breathing in movement again. It become wake up. And stop again. You become more, more near or close to your home. Now, you sometimes at the stop, uh, but you not, not go inside. Sometimes you lost in thought, but more often you know the breathing in to the stop. Even you got a bit thought, then you can let go thought and stay at, at the stop. Then at the stop is the access. Access going into calmness. Okay, stop first. So you don't use your thought. Stop. Use your understanding. Okay. Use your awareness. Can you feel how the mind is? Awareness. When you breathing in, no here, not no, not try to watch. Try to analyze. Just knowing from your feeling, can you feel your stop when you breathing in? Can you feel your mind? Your heart can feel your mind. We learned by this way. 
Your heart can feel the calmness. Okay? Breathing in again. You can feel the breathing in from heart. And your heart can feel your mind also. Okay? Breathing out. You just learn by feeling. 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 Only you want to do business, making money, you learn by thinking. Okay? Practice meditation. We learn by feeling. We call learn by awareness. Okay? So you don't try to find reason why, why stop, why stay there. No, not try to find any reason. You will lost in thought. Because we not learn by reason, we learn by realization. Realization. The calmness, more calmness inside. Can you realize from your heart how your mind more or less stop? But when your mind just uh, noting the breathing in, knowing the breathing in, your mind come back. Can you feel your mind come back? And you don't know to stop, then your mind come back, cannot stay long. Then breathing out, your mind come with the breathing out again. Now you need maybe, maybe half an hour because you don't know the breathing in for bring your mind back home. And knowing at the stop, just know breathing out, don't follow the breathing out. Okay? Breathing in, follow the breathing in to the stop. Breathing out, just know the breathing out there at the stop. Not follow the breathing out, but just see now breathing out this way or this way. And breathing in again, just feel the breathing in so that bring all your consciousness. Wake up to the stop. And at the stop, wake up by washing. Now, can you wash at the stop your body movement? Can you wash? Your body movement at the stop. How to go to at the stop? Na, na, mo. Okay? Na, mo. You got parking there at your home already. Parking. Na, mo. And there, just knowing with awareness. We do meditation by mindfulness and awareness. That is the right concentration. Okay? Uh, aware, 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 aware. Okay? Aware, aware, aware. Okay? Uh, just aware in your mind how you sit, how you feel, how your heart is, how your good heart. Aware, you can aware from the first foundation we call body. Okay? There are four foundations. Okay, or sati pathana four. The first foundation is the mindfulness uh, regarding the body, regarding with awareness, regarding with awareness. Okay, and the second foundation just regarding your sensation. The third foundation regarding your mind or your heart, and the fourth foundation regarding the quality in the mind. If you use your thought, try to try to think to understand how your mind is. You cannot understand well. Okay? Because I ask you, how are you today? If you feel good, you told me I'm fine. Thank you. You don't have to think. But after you think, oh I'm not sure today I'm busy. Okay? Okay, so now you got your thought, uh, make you blinded. Just talk from your heart. I keep talk, I never think. I talk from my heart. I think for make money. <laughs> but now I not make money, I'm a monk. Okay, I talk from heart with loving kindness. Okay, we learn by heart. If you learn by heart, then don't worry. You just come today to start today. Don't worry. Okay? Because your heart has already a lot of experience from previous life. 
this life maybe you just come to practice but your heart already got a lot of experience and your heart bring you here okay so now I teach to your heart I don't teach to you I teach to you you use your thought you don't understand I don't teach you I teach your heart I talk to your heart I talk to your heart by the way of feeling 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 away 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 feeling 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 if you think feeling feeling you don't understand if you just do it feeling feeling your heart clever than you okay your heart know what I say huh? feeling 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 can you feel your sitting can you feel your breathing can you feel your mind more or less thought can you feel oh today you uh, do many things uh, at work you got a lot of thought you can feel you have a lot of thought you can feel your mind upset but can you feel your mind uh, no thought can you feel your mind calmness you never practice to feel your mind calmness you always not nobody teach you but you always teach teach yourself to feel upset in your mind okay <laughs> okay feel if you feel your mind upset your awareness will be able to let go of attachment in thought and it become more calmness with feeling that is awareness when you feel your thought it become less thought because you aware okay okay so I just let you know there are five channel to learning to learn thing in this world eye channel ear channel tongue nose body contact now body contact is feeling that's right body contact you can feel direct to your heart because it it don't, don't need to go to your brain first thing okay it's touching thing no need to think body contact no need to think you can realize from heart okay so breathing before I just think to breathing in long breathing in short that the wrong the wrong way because feeling of the body contact breathing is a feeling of the body contact can you know can you know can you know without thought but you never learn knowing without thought so five channel I you must go through the brain thinking what you look what you see and then understanding here you learning by listen and thinking what you listen and then understanding but if your friend hit you you know you know or not you or you have to think first you don't have to think huh? strong or soft if your boyfriend touch you your girlfriend touch you you have to think or not no you absorb in your heart that's right so we use heart breathing in can you feel from heart breathing out can you feel from heart if you can feel from heart then your mind come to your heart become one one mind now you do meditation by two mind your mind here feel and your mind here put attempt to to make the breathing softly put attempt to breathing long or short we don't use this attempt in your in your brain in your thought we just relax and let go okay bye bye we just feel and when we can feel the body touching can you feel the mind can you feel your sadness you don't have to think oh sadness sadness you don't have to think can you feel your happiness okay can you feel disturbed can you feel can you feel no disturb if you use feeling is 
the direct experience we call realization you got realization realization with awareness realization from your heart more you realization is more aware awareness 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 okay so can you feel your thought more or less when you feel that means you got awareness when you got awareness of your thought then thought disappear <laughs> okay can you feel your disturbance aware we feel from awareness from your heart so now together when you pay attention to me watch me pay attention listen to me together feel your knower is become good knower without thought okay it become clear knowing without thought then uh, now I just tell you, okay, uh, to see what happened in your mind. How to see what happened in your mind? By feeling. Can you feel in your, in your, in your mind you have calmness or not? Okay, maybe you, it's, it's not a good sample. But I can weep, I tell you, can you feel in your pocket? Have you got some money? Can I borrow you? Oh, master, I have no money. <laughs> Feeling you can feel even in your pocket. Sorry, master, no money today. <laughs> okay? Feel, you can feel. Even in your heart, even in your mind. But if you think you have money or not, you have to look. Okay? If you think you are crazy or not, you have to, to find reason. Okay? But feel in your mind you are crazy or not. When you feel, then you uh, become no crazy. Okay? You are disturbed or not? Can you feel? So, now, Feel your right hand, right shoulder. Your eye with me, but I tell you, feel your right shoulder. Can you sense your right shoulder by feeling? Sense, sense, sense is not from brain. Don't try to think where, where. Sense, sense. Feel how you dress today. You dress beautiful or not? Or you dress white color to come to. Um, the cause of meditation, feel your dress, how you dress today, can you feel? You can see, you look good or not look good. Can you feel on the seat? How soft or, or hard on the seat? When you feel, you can see. Open your eye, because feeling you need to open eye, okay? Now, everybody open eye, because we Work from inside awareness. Now, if you cross your eye, maybe you fall asleep. Okay? <laughs> Open eye. And can you feel the whole body? Your head, can you feel your head? Can you see your head by feeling? Can you feel your neck behind? Something behind your neck? If you not feel that, Maybe sometimes you got and come climbing up. You feel and small and climbing up. Can you feel? And you, hey, it come in my trouser. It come in my trouser. Okay. <laughs> it look like you have a third eye there. When you feel, you can see. Now, feel on the back of the body. Hot or cool, cool or hot, of the fire element. Then I can see by my feeling, but not see like the picture. Okay, see just what happened, cool or hot. If you use your feeling, you can feel your daughter, your son. You can understand what they need. But if you just think, then you like a engine to do like. <laughs> a robot, eh? no feeling. Uh, like you feel your, your 
your lover what they need you know okay but now we feel ourselves okay when we feel ourselves now how to feel deeply inside you need knower without thought <coughs> we call mindfulness okay knower without thought how to uh, wake up knower without thought just know anything okay just my got thing to know you know you're sitting then you stop thinking you know you are hand touching no when you know you stop thinking something else you know you are uh, listening if you know you are listening you stop thinking something else but if you listen to me and thinking something else you cannot listen to what i talk okay okay so the knower is very simple just know the present moment uh, what you are doing so now i just give you technique knowing how you sitting how when you knowing how it become washing from the knower knowing how if you know sitting then your knower come to your sitting but you know how sitting you got knowing and washing together but if you know you are sitting you don't want yourself you lose lost again in thought so i just give you how to bring your mind to the knower just put question how how sitting can you know then you can see that the knower is at the knower the sitting is the object okay the object can be anywhere how movement object can be anywhere but only one knower okay so now just feel your knower feel from heart your knower knowing how sitting and feel your knower you got consciousness in your knower awareness feel your knower your knower will wake up because your knower very pity you got dirtiness a lot of thought put inside very happy how to uh, delete them feel your knower then all thought delete okay feel your knower okay feel your knower and when you feel your knower your eye not lost your eye always lost <laughs> okay feel your knower and not lost your eye your eye will help you to got mindfulness at the present moment but sometimes you look at me but you think something else you don't see don't see don't see master okay or for example you looking uh, on your dish dishes during lunch time you look you eating but you don't see what you eat you don't see what you are eating but you are look but your mind not see you might think something else so how to uh, now awareness i tell you feel your knower and how to get your knower come back feel or awareness your knower and mindfulness by connect your knower when you look your knower seeing when you are listening listening your knower hearing how how just connect connect the knower even you sit on something on your seat can you know you don't have to know at your seat you can know in your knower with awareness how soft or hard the cushion is okay so you are trained from childhood to know with desire it with with desire bring your novel traveling outside never come back so just know without desire just know the present moment okay and now 
knowing not enough. I, I just say that when you're angry, you know you're angry or not, but you cannot stop angry, not stop anger, knowing not enough. Then you must develop, know, be, become more mindfulness, knowing and seeing. When you got angry, you know you're still ang angry, but you see, oh, how come my face look like giant? I become, oh, get older, okay? Then how come I get angry? I, I damage, put damage to myself, okay? From smiling now, no smile, okay? So when you see you are angry, if you got seeing that very good mindfulness, anger gone by itself. Knowing anger, but you still got anger. But if you knowing, seeing together, now anger come to your mind. You knowing and seeing, then anger come, anger God. Okay? Okay? So, now, I just want you to develop seeing your mind. Knowing not enough. How to see your mind. Your mind have to be at the present moment. On your eye, your ear, or your five channel, you might connect. If you might know clearly on the five, five contacts, okay? Your mind will be mindful. And your mind will got mindfulness and awareness in the mind. And can see the mind itself. Now you just uh, know clearly what I'm saying. Then you can know your mind. And you can see your mind. Okay? So, anyhow, just develop more wisdom because seeing your mind not by eye, it's by your wisdom. Can you use your wisdom? When you, when you uh, pay attention to me, your mind still. More attention tend to me, your mind still and mindfulness. Okay? Can you see with wisdom? So now you got seeing, but it's not clear seeing. You need more wisdom. Okay? Wisdom cannot say in your brain, in your heart, wisdom is wisdom. Okay? <laughs> wisdom is wisdom. Okay? Don't try to think. Wisdom is understanding. Can you see by your understanding? How you feeling? Can you see by your understanding how you thinking, good or bad? Okay? This is vipassana. Seeing by your feeling is vipassana. But now we train ourselves to see our mind first. How to see our mind? Just your mind connect to the present moment of contact. Okay? You might got mindfulness every moment. Then you might got mindfulness inside more and more and become wake up, become more awareness, become seeing. Now, I look at you. My eye look at you. And my mind watch you. And my mind see my mind. I look at you. My eye look at you. My mind watch you. My mind can see my mind. Because when my, my mind watch, watch together with the eye, I look at this thing, my mind my, my watch. Okay? When my mind watch, my mind become mindful at the present moment. Then it can see itself. The mind can see the mind. Because the mind, you never stay at the present moment. Your mind lose capacity to see the mind itself. Okay? Just bring your mind here and now. Okay, I don't say that you cannot enjoy eating. You enjoy eating, what? Wash. Wash what? Wash. Washing. What you eating? When you washing, the mind see the mind. Okay? Okay? You can enjoy, okay, your life, but washing. Washing will be, develop, will be developing mindfulness. And then mindfulness, seeing the mind at the present moment. 
Now can you make three words? What different? Look, watch, see. Look it outside and look it from your your eye. But sometimes you look, you not watch. You think about something else. Okay? Sometimes you look at me, you not watch me. Sometimes you listen to me, you not hear what I say because you think something else. So listen, hearing, when you got hearing, hearing is not uh, on your ear. Hearing is in your mind. Your ear just listen. But who got hearing? Your mind. Okay? <laughs> your mind got hearing. Your eye not see. Your eye just look. But who got seeing? Your mind. If your mind not there, you not see. Okay? Now can you connect the mind to the five contacts? That's all. You will have good mindfulness every moment. Practice only mindfulness. Now, okay? Uh, five contacts. Now mostly people just practice mindfulness only the body movement. It's not enough. Body movement is one of the five contacts. You know the body movement, but you look and you lost. <laughs> you listen and you lost. You know only the fight, the, the body contact is not enough. You must be aware. The body contact, what you touch, okay? How you sit, how you walk, how you eat, how you uh, touch, okay? And you must train yourself. Awareness of uh, how you see it, how you listen, how you taste, how you smell. Okay? I put how, how is it will bring it will help bring your mindfulness come very fast. How? How? Because how you will see here and now. If how you see it, you think I'm sitting, why I don't, I have to know how I sit, you will think, okay? <laughs> so, how, how you cut out your thought? Because how you bring your mind to see the present moment? How you sit? How you sit? How you move? How you breathe? How, how? When you knowing how, the novel wake up. And God see, okay? Seeing how you sit and seeing the mind itself. Seeing how you breathe and see the mind itself. Now, first, maybe you are seeing not wake up. Then, just train yourself watching from your mind or know, knowing clearly from your mind. When you knowing clearly what I'm saying, immediately, at the same time, you can got clear knowing how your mind is also. Can you do uh, knowing, uh, as Lord Buddha say in the Sutta, knowing the body outside and inside. Inside is in your mind, okay? Uh, the feeling outside, inside is in your mind together, okay? So now, just uh, watch and see. Watch outside, seeing inside your mind. Can you watch? Watch. I am saying what I am saying. And can you see your mind? Okay? Watch and see. And now, can you watch your, your eating? Your eating, when you are eating three meals, you got three meals, you practice mindfulness at least. You have lesson to practice mindfulness three lessons, three times a day. Eating, can you watch? Because your eye cannot look in your mouth, can you watch? And where you watch? From the nowhere. That is because your spirit, if you are Catholic, now you got your spirit. You want to become one with God? Wake up your spirit. Spirit will bring you become one with God. Okay? Or oh, in Buddhist tradition, spirit, the mind, will, will bring the calmness, will bring the right concentration. Okay? So now, your spirit, where your spirit? Your mind. Okay? Watch, 
just eating and wash in your mouth. Now your spirit come, okay? Your spirit come and your spirit can wash your mouth eating inside. That is your spirit. When your spirit come, just relax. Your soul wake up. Just awareness. Your soul wake up. Now you got spirit and soul with yourself. Your spirit and soul wake up already. Okay? In, in this level, uh, Buddhist teaching and Christian is same. Wake up. But after wake up, Buddhist tradition teaching you to contemplate the four foundations. The first one is the body, second one is the feeling, the third one is the mind, the fourth one is the mental quality. Okay? This is what the Buddha teaching inside meditation. Okay? But anyhow, for uh, the beginning, just wake up, okay? Wake up. Uh, wake up by maybe in uh, Christ, Christian tradition, they sing a song. Sing a song, okay? Uh, they chanting with song. Okay, it's good, okay? You feel wake up. You spill it and so wake up, okay? But anyhow, for the Buddha teaching, can you just know what you don't have to look, 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 look for somewhere else? That is your, your breathing. Can you know your breathing? Just know your breathing. Maybe you sing a song, you need piano, you have to buy piano, you have to buy radio. But the Buddha teaching, just teaching knowing your breathing more and more often. Breathing in, now open your eye. Now, when you got the calmness in your mind, but your soul, your heart not wake up, just know you are breathing. Just know you always breathing. Can you know you always breathing? Can you know? Just know. When you just know what happened, your heart, uh, stop anger, desire, lust, or delusion. And your heart become knower. The same when you wash. Wash the breathing, wash yourself, wash the body, wash the feeling. When you got thing to know, your mind free from thought. When your mind free from thought, this section we call calmness meditation. After you develop calmness meditation and not lost, but today I just give you uh, uh, theory, okay? Theory, because you come maybe today or maybe tomorrow only, just give you idea, okay? Uh, just when you can keep your mind free from thought, by getting to know yourself from your mind, know your sitting, you know your breathing from the mind. Okay, the mind will free from thought, and the mind free from thought, the mind can see itself. We call the knower. And when you got this level, uh, the mind free from thought, then you become open up with emptiness. Then just keep knowing, keep knowing. Uh, your heart, your walking, your sitting, but Lord Buddha before enlightenment. Lord Buddha just keep knowing every moment breathing already, always. Can you just know you are breathing? Don't have to look at the breathing. Just know you are breathing, you will got eye inside. Know you are sitting, you can see from your heart. It looks like you got eye in your heart, seeing how you're sitting. So, if you just train yourself, knowing, knowing, uh, you will sit, you are breathing still good. Just knowing how breathing, your breathing still good or not, it will help you to have a good health and help help you to have a good mood. 
Because when you have a good breathing, you have a good mood. But when your breathing becomes fluctuated, you now, I not talk to you, you are becoming anger, angry now, okay? I'm not talk to you, I don't talk to you, because your breathing becomes fluctuated, okay? So just know you are breathing, your breathing is your life, okay? Now we develop awareness, after you develop calmness already, then develop awareness, you are breathing. Then you will be aware of yourself, everything, aware of your body, aware of your mood, okay? And you, you can let the, letting go of attachment, okay? Not moody, just equanimity of mind in your heart, okay? You got calmness, doesn't mean you got equanimity of mind in your heart. So, now when I teach you to develop awareness, uh, awareness in your heart, knowing, knowing, knowing in your heart, knowing how, until your heart can see, knowing how you feel, or knowing how, how, how you are, because you just have dinner, how you full, knowing, you full already, okay? You don't have to think about your feeling, feeling of hungry, hunger, feeling of fullness. You don't have to think, but now you lost in thought about uh, your family, your job, your work with a lot of thought. You are away from your feeling. Now you lose your soul. I can see your face. You lose your soul because you lost. Your soul lost. Always thinking, thinking. Are you tired or not? Oh, very tired. I don't have to think a lot, but I can realize a lot what's happening. When I got realization, I can let go immediately. Okay? Thinking makes you cloudy. Okay? But seeing. Okay? Seeing. Okay, so we learn outside thing. Okay? We use thought. But we, we learn ourselves, want to know how the body is, how the feeling is, how the mind is, how the mental quality is. We use awareness. Okay? We use awareness. Now, how to develop good awareness? You need mindfulness. Okay? And where mindfulness? Mindfulness is knowing the present moment. That's why I teach you in the beginning, na mo. Come back to na mo. That is your mindfulness. When, when you got knowing na mo clearly, you stop thinking. Na mo. Then when you stop thinking, we call no thought. Or we call emptiness. When you got emptiness, you can be aware of something soft and subtle in your heart. But if you still have doubt, can you know about your dirtiness in your heart? It's really fine. It's really fine and very, uh, very difficult to realize, okay? But if you stop thinking, oh, I still got something in my heart. When you're thinking, and you got a lot of things in your heart, but you lost in thought, you don't know even you have a lot of things in your heart. But when you got calm, oh, why? I cannot let go. My hand left. My heart not left. Okay? Your hand left. Your heart not left. Sometimes your hand left already one month, your heart not left. Okay? Okay? You understand? Your hand left, your heart not left. Okay? Now you keep them already uh, some money, but you just, why, why? You just attach. Why? And you just worry. They not give you back money, but already you have left. Let go. Doesn't matter they will give you back or not. Okay? Let go. Your hand left, your heart left, your hand left, your heart left. How to develop your heart? Your hand left, your heart left. Thing already passed, left completely, okay? Thing already passed, forget it, okay? Okay, letting go in your heart. Your heart, you maybe lose money, but you got awareness, okay? Outside thing, don't worry. Sometimes you, 
you gain a lot, sometimes you lose a lot, sometimes it's just uh, usual thing, okay? So just your head left, your heart left, free your heart, free your heart, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. If you worry, sometimes you need to go to hospital, you got money back, you need to go to hospital, and then you don't have money to pay for your hospital, okay? You have left, your heart left, you practice this way. Then you can got your nice breathing with you. When you have left, your heart left, you got nice breathing, you breathe with you, nice breathing, come back to you. That is live breathing, live breathing, okay? We call plan, okay? Plan, okay? Plan is a live breathing, or we call she. You got she. Very nice breathing. You don't have to go to hospital, okay? <laughs> but if your head left, your heart not left, your she gone. You go to hospital, sure, okay? Now, just let go. So you don't have to practice one by one. You can practice together, samatha and vipassana. Just stop thinking. Don't try to stop thinking. By force, you might to stop. But just pay attention to what you are doing. Then you stop thinking. But you now listen to me, but you not to not pay attention, good attention to me. Then you think about home, about work. Pay attention to what you are doing. That is mindfulness, you stop thinking. When you got this comment by mindfulness, mindfulness can see the quality of mind. More good attention, more good calmness, mindfulness in your mind. Then you can uh, watch outside, see inside, watch outside with good attention. With good attention, you got already mindfulness. Okay? Mindfulness can realize the outcome in your mind, the, the fruition in your mind. Okay? The result in your mind. So where is your mind? Just keep your mind good attention. When you talk to friends, okay, they talk, 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 and they, and you got disturbed, better, you not disturb, they talk, you listen. Just bring them to become the object of meditation. They talk, you listen, they talk, listen, then you got mindfulness, okay? You got mindfulness, okay? Now, where is your mind? Your mind all, always become bad attention, going shopping going uh, traveling, going the future, what I will do tomorrow. Even now you take a shower, but your mind, attention, tomorrow what I will do, you don't, you don't be happy, feel, enjoy with your shower, okay? So in the shower, just keep your mind in the, in, in the shower, not go out, okay? With the hot water, warm water, you know, cool, you know, Okay, touching softly yourself, you know, this is the, the most happiness in life. Okay, the most happiness in life. So I give you a lesson now. How many times a day you go to the bathroom uh, for a shower? Two times. Each time about 15 minutes. Then just keep your mind mindfulness, knowing how you take a shower, take a shower, and how you feel your soft, so feeling on your body, okay, nice. Now try, take a shower now. Stop thinking, because you feel yourself, when you touch, you feel yourself or not. And I just give you technique, when you feel yourself, observing, how oh, now? Cleaning, observing, 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 observing. Thought God. Okay? See, see yourself, see yourself with observing, observing. Okay? Okay? Now, okay, just relax. Just dress yourself, just clean yourself. Okay? And just enjoy uh, uh, taking shower and feel, 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 feel and observe, 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 observe. So now, you lose the present moment. Now, just listen one. Come to the present moment by observing yourself. Now, 
Can you observe yourself? Even you're not touching yourself. Observing, 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 observing. Now all thought gone. Okay? Because you observing, 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 observing. Okay? Like uh, the the four lesson. Bap, 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 observing your mind blinking, 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 shining. Okay? Observing, 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 observing. You look good the whole day. Observe your talk, your walk, observe your sit, observe your doing, observe your speaking. You look good the whole day. Okay. What I'm teaching you, I just teach you how to develop the mind. That always lost in thought by observing, observing, observing. And how to develop your heart. That always gone with emotion, moody. I'm aware, aware, aware. How to get aware? Observe first, observe, observe. Because if you have a lot of thought, then you, you lost it, everything. But if you observe, 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 you flee from thought, your awareness come back. Ah, oh, I am breathing, I know. So, first start, observe yourself. Observe your thought, okay? Observe your feeling, observe your mood. Observe your dressing, how you look good, okay? You look beautiful, but you are now getting old, you know? <laughs> observe, observe, observe. Then you let go attachment, okay? Just take care well your body, not attached, okay? Now observe yourself and how to get awareness. Observe yourself with smiling. Awareness is, is, is the intuition. Observe yourself with smiling. You got smiling, wake up with intuition, understanding. But observe, observe yourself and not smiling. You just, just like uh, run, run the, run the mindfulness to wake up. Observe, observe, observe. Okay? But if you just observe and with smiling, Mindfulness with awareness, you will have fully conscious, okay? When you have fully conscious, even you put your finger here, you can sense what you are doing. Even you put your hand here, you can sense from fully conscious, okay? Okay? Now, the point is how to wake up and how you know you wake up. You can sense yourself. Can you sense yourself how you're sitting? How you move, how you breathing. Now send, send yourself is vipassana. Watch yourself is samatha. Okay, send yourself. You got seeing with wisdom, with understanding. We call vipassana. Can you send yourself? Can you send your mood? Easy. Send your mood. How you send? You can you send your action? And what you do in daily life? You are so busy, you tell me, tell me no time for practice meditation. But I tell you, you have only three jobs, three jobs in your daily life. The first one is speaking, the second one is, is doing, the third one is thinking. You have only three jobs. Okay? Just send your speaking, how you speak, speak good or not good, and send how you feel when you speak. Speak good how you feel. Speak bad how you feel. Send, send, send. Send you are doing how you are doing. If you are doing good, how you feel. Send your feeling also. If you are doing bad, how you feel. And send your thought. If you think bad, how you feel. Upset, sad. If you think good, positive, you feel relaxed and happy. Now, what I am saying is come to send yourself. Send yourself. Send yourself. You don't know how to send yourself? I take you photo now. One, you look at the camera. Two, you send your smile. That's right. You send your smile. That's right. You I look at the camera, but you send your smile. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? You send your smile. 
and I not count three and not put chapter. You just send your smile the whole day. Can you? Okay, so now you know how to wake up with mindfulness and awareness. Now we end this session. Thank you. Sadhu. Okay, this is the principle teaching of the Buddhist content. Okay, mindfulness and awareness. Okay, mindfulness uh, to free from thought, awareness free from emotion and all desire and attachment. Okay, thank you.